So in the 1530s, Michelangelo received the commission to paint the Last Judgment on the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel. And this is his sketch for the figure of St. Lawrence, which we reproduce there as a, as a mural um, in actual size to scale. With this drawing, I feel that we, we see how far Michelangelo has come in what he can convey on a sheet of paper in, in the most economical way possible. He becomes incredibly efficient at conveying, you know, here he has a figure with a really complex foreshortening, a really um, complicated pose. He wanted the figure from life. And if you look closely at this sheet, it is, there's so much information, but conveyed in such an economical way. And clearly he studies the figure, he then studies the head separately down here. And what's amazing is that, you know, by this time, so the late 1530s, he also develops um, a technique for, sh for, showing, for showing to himself where he's going to put the highlights on a study such as this, where he's going to put the highlights in the finished fresco. So whereas in the past he would often have put on white and painted in white highlights, now all he does is literally here just draws in some little circles on the forehead. So this is the figure of St. Lawrence, and there are these little circles on the forehead that just show where the, the, the strongest light from the windows in the chapel are gonna, is going to fall.